Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to install the Real Vision ENB for Skyrim of course. This installation confused me a lot in the beginning but wasn't really that hard. So I chose to make a tutorial to help confused people like me. Okay, let's get started. First, open up your favorite web browser. I prefer Google Chrome. Then go to skyrim.nexusmods.com I'll of course put a link in the description so you don't have to type that long website in your browser. Now you'll need to install the Nexus Mod Manager. It is also possible to install the ENB without the manager, but it's a lot easier with it. You'll have to make an account on the nexusmods.com to install and the installation link can be found up here. Just tap it and then click download now. It'll now download as you can see here. It is very easy to install the mod manager. You just have to follow the steps in the installation have to set up your language. There's only two so it's very easy to choose. I choose English and click OK. And then you'll have to accept to use it. And then you'll have to click next. And then you'll choose where you want the mod manager installed. I want it in my program files and then I click next and then choose uh, where you want your start menu folder and then click next and then there's some setups here I'll create a desktop icon I won't create a quick launch icon and I'll just associate the mod manager with all these file formats then I click next and then I click install. Now go back to the nexusmods.com and search for the Real Vision ENB. And then you should find the Real Vision ENB. Just click it. Or you can just go to this website up here. I'll also put a link in the description. As you can see here, there's some videos and some recommended mods. I won't watch any of these. You can watch them by yourself if you want to. Or I won't install any of these because it will take too long to install all this. But if you want your Skyrim to look like in the videos, you'll have to install all these. Okay, go to the essential mods and choose what option you want, option A, option B or option C. Do you want realism, atmosphere or fantasy? When you have chosen what option you want, just click the four links in that option. I'll take option A for realism and first you'll have to get Project Reality, Climates of Tamriel then I go to Files because there's the download files and then I click Download with Manager and then it should open in your Nexus Mod Manager or ask you of permission to open in that Manager and as you can see here my Manager is downloading here in the bottom of the screen and then go to the page again go back to the Real Vision ENB page and then install the four other mods in the same way as the one I did here Supreme Storms for Cl Climates of Tamriel 3.1 by Many GT and Climates of Tamriel with a patch by Prot80 and Realistic Lightning Overhaul 4.0.8.02 
by the Realistic Lightning team. When you have downloaded the mods, they should be in the mod sections in your Nexus mod manager of course. You'll probably have more categories than I have, but that doesn't matter. Just find your mods in all your categories and activate them in the order they are listed on the side. So, I'll have to activate the Project Reality Climates of Tamriel first. I'll just choose all the default options. And then you'll have to install Supreme Storms, or activate, sorry, Supreme Storms for Climates of Tamriel. There's no setup there, it's just activating. And then you'll need to have Climates of Tamriel with a patch. I'll just choose these settings here, regular and night level zero. And then I'll take Supreme Storms, Climates of Tamriel and Expanded Snow System. And then I'll need Realistic Lightning Overhaul. I'll just take the vanilla one, cause I don't have Dawn Guard or anything else. And then it's activated. When you have downloaded and activated all the mods you needed, just scroll down on the Nexus mod page. And there's some important stuff here, I recommend that you read it. And then you come to Real Vision ENB files. And the first one says download ENB series for Skyrim version 0 0.246. And you can both download it from his ENB series as you can see here or enbdev.com. I'll download it from enbdev.com. When you're at enbdev.com you just have to scroll down until you see version 0 0.246. Just click it and then scroll all the way down until you see a download button click that too and then it's downloading when you have downloaded the zip file from enbdev.com just extract it where you want it and then open it and then you can see there is an injector version and a wrapper version you'll have to open the wrapper version and take this file here d3d9.dll and enbhost.exe and copy them and then open the nexus mod manager and then open folders open game folder here's the skyrim game folder you can also access this folder by going to this path here. You'll have to paste it in here. Paste. When you have downloaded the ENB files, you have to download the Real Vision ENB mod. You can download it under the files sections. If you scroll up here, all the way up to where it says files, tap that, and then click download with manager the Real Vision ENB 246 be released to download with manager when you have downloaded the Real Vision ENB mod you'll just have to activate it in the Nexus mod manager like we did with the other mods before just activate and then it's preparing the mod and then you have to choose some settings and I chose option A the realistic version and I'll therefore take the option A here and then I have to choose a sun there's a realistic sun E with sun for E and B and a default sun I'll just take the real realistic sun and then there's some optionals there's a sun sprite shader and the letterbox effect just take the sun sprite shader it looks pretty cool and then there's some patches I'll just take both patches and then it says important 
it says you have to need to go to the Skyrim folder and go to um, the RV install that VBS you have to install it with that okay finish when the real vision ENB mod is downloaded and activated you'll have to go to your game folder like I showed you before and then go to data and then real vision ENB files then scroll down until you see rv install.vbs install it then it says installation successful don't forget this installer is only for step 3b of full real vision installation so we're not done yet hold on a little more then click ok if you're going to uninstall this you have to uninstall here open this file before you deactivate the mod on the nexus mod manager now you're going to open your skyrim launcher you're not going to play the game yet but you're going to options and then going to turn off anti-aliasing it's already off on my skyrim and any isotropic filtering is also going to be turned off then you have to click advanced and then make sure FXAA is also off then close and OK and then exit this step is the most complicated at this whole process you'll have to go to the control panel and then go to hardware and sounds and then go to NVIDIA control panel then you can minimize that and then go to manage 3D settings then you'll have to choose TESV.exe here and then make sure ambient occlusion is turned off and anisotropic filtering is application control and anti-aliasing mode is application controlled then remember to click apply down here apply now you'll just have to download these .ini files click this picture here and then go to files and then download skyrim prefs and ini.package standard and enb v30 just download and then choose your server that really doesn't matter some servers are faster than others but just choose one and then it should be downloading when you have extracted the Skyrim any files you will just have to go to your documents folder and then my games and then Skyrim as you can see here there is skyrim.ini and skyrimprefs.ini now you have to take the extracted file you got there and open this folder and then you have to choose the high prefs and enis ugrids 5v30 enb version the ugrids 5 enb version you can also choose the medium one if your computer is not a uh, based or something then open this and take these two and delete them and then take these two and drag them into this folder here and then you can close this one when you have dragged the ini files to your skyrim folder in my games you'll have to open the skyrim.ini i'll open it with notepad plus plus which is a free notepad program and then you'll have to change S language to the language you use I leave it on English and then you'll have to scroll down to where it says grass and then if you're using the mod grass and steroids you'll have to change this I mean grass size to more than 70 but I'm not using grass and steroids so I'll just leave it on 30
when you have edited the Skyrim ini file, you have to edit Skyrim prefs.ini, edit with notepad, and then scroll down until you see F gamma. It says 1.0000. You have to change that to 1.2400, like that. And then you have to find I size h and that's you're, you're going to change that to your screen h and then your eye size w and you have to change that to your screen width and that's my screen settings so I won't change that but if you have another screen size you'll have to change it and then you have to scroll down to SD 3D device and change that to the graphics card you're using I'm not using this one so I'll change it to what I'm using I'm using the GeForce G GT 755 M that's a laptop graphics card you can also change your difficult down here on the gameplay and um, I'll just leave it on 2 that's fine and now I'll save this something you have to know about the ini files is that they'll reset when you use your Skyrim launcher so you'll have to go to your games folder and launch the game with the tesv.exe so I'll send a shortcut to the desktop so I can use it later now I just have to click this to run the game and it shouldn't open the scam launcher I'll just rename it to tesv there is one more step it's not required but I recommend it it's for the ones who doesn't have beast computers and can run these games on like unlimited FPS um, you'll have to go to the game folder as we have seen a lot of times in this video open the enb local.ini with notepad or something and then go down to where you see enable FPS limit and change it to true true and this um, this makes the game set a, an FPS limit so it won't crash that easy I have one more thing I need to say to you I, I really recommend reading all this stuff there's a lot of helpful text here and if you have any problems read the frequently asked questions down here there's a lot of help down in these frequently asked questions on the bottom of the side or if you have problems you can't get solved on this website you're welcome to write a message to me and I'll do my best I can